All right, guys, what is up? RZY, Rezzy, my RZY here. And um, I was just thinking to myself that you know, I was about to upload my tutorial and shit today, but the video got corrupted, and I was pretty fucking pissed. So it explained keyframes and stuff like that, and, you know, you guys should know how to, you know, what keyframes are and what certain um, buttons you press to do things and stuff like that, you know, because that, that's all about editing. And if you, don't, if you guys don't understand that, then editing for you is going to be a lot harder and a lot harder to grasp. So, uh, as you can see, I got the position up on this, right? And what the position does, it, it moves it. Now, how it moves it is X and Y. And if you put the 3D layer on, I'll explain that probably in another video. But, you know, 3D layers for, like, 3D motion tracking and 3D space and stuff like that. You know, say you want to make an intro, blah, blah, blah. You want to move it around. Um, that's that. But for, for right now, we're going to work in 2D, which is X and Y. And this is your X, this is your Y value. Simple math right there. Um, 640 by, by 360 is a standard, uh, you know, standard for 720p, but for 1080, it's different, um, it's the center, so, this is the center for 720p, but that's that. If you want to move it, you know, this is the X, you move it at right, left and right, this is the Y, blah, 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 if you want to change it, you know, it's 640, 360, yeah, back to back, right, that's how you position it. Now, S for scale. Right? You press S for scale, P for position. I'll keep repeating myself over and over again so you guys can remember this because these things are really, really important. You have your S for scale. What the scale does is you know it moves, it zooms it in and out. You know, sometimes you have like these uh black lines on the edges, and what you want to do, you just want to press this to one on one, right? And again, this is X and Y. Um, for scale, uh, there's X and Y and Z, but I mean like you know. It, it mainly you want to do this for X and Y and this chain right here is what connects them so say you move one the other one moves as well but if you click the chain and the chain is not there right what that will do is that if you change one it won't change the other as I said so I'll just do um, as you can see it stretches this way but not this way I have to change it individually so I'm gonna change this back to 100 and I'm gonna change this back to 100 and then that's that. Uh, you have T for opacity. What opacity does, right, um, it basically fades it on and off and stuff like that. You know, some guys, you may, you may see something fade and stuff like that. And Bay is texting me, you know, Bay is life. In my next video, you see me in the Skycore Bay. I did it yesterday, but that's not the point. The video got corrupted. What the opacity does is it fades it on and off. So you see how it fades. If I would have had, like, another clip or something like that or a cinematic, you see it better. But you get the point where, like, it fades. If you guys know how to use Vegas, you guys should know what opacity is. But T is for opacity. P is for position. S is for scale. All right. You have A for anchor, which is, you know, what, what, uh, what's the heaviest point or heaviest area on the, uh, on the clip, I should say. That's the best way I can think about explaining it. Um. Um. Uh, Here's another um, thing you guys might, you might want to do. There's a stopwatch right here. You do that for keyframes. Uh, I'll probably explain keyframes more in depth later. But you press stopwatch for keyframes, and the keyframe is what you use to edit and stuff like that. That's more importantly, like, you know, you, you uh, yeah. Sometimes you make keyframe to scale. Sometimes you do that. Yeah. Oh, you press R for rotation. Rotation exact is exactly what it sounds. It rotates. <clears throat> you know, like sometimes you have like cinematic, you're like, oh my god, cinematic is really smooth. Well, more most times it's probably that they had like one straight cinematic and they rotated it, something like that. That's what rotation is really used for. But sometimes it could be used for pan and cropping, stuff like that. You make smooth moments, smooth areas. Really, it's really all for that. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, yeah. Um, there's the begin bracket or the the bracket that's next to P if you're in a laptop. But if you would choose that, it would basically move the clip to a certain area. Or move the beginning of the clip to a certain area, right? Uh, and then there's the end bracket, which is the one right next to it, which you move the end of the clip to a certain area. Uh, there's also splitting the clip, right? You can split it by cl clicking... Uh, Command Shift D. If you're on the Mac, if you're on a uh, Windows, it's Control Shift D. Right? You guys should know how to undo things. It's 
uh, Command Z or Control Z, how to undo. That simple, basic right there. Uh, how to duplicate things, you know, make, make another one exactly the same. You would just do Control D or Command D, right? That's that. What you can do with that is say you have, like, you know, a ring or something like that. You want to make two rings, you know? So do the same thing. Bam. Control D. It would be easy as that. You guys should know how to delete things, backspace or delete. That's that. And if you guys want to trim stuff, so say you just want to trim things in After Effects, you know, that's really, really simple, guys. Really simple. What you want to do is you want to go to Alt, right? And then, remember when I told you how the begin bracket was to move things from, you know, uh, move the beginning to one area? Right, so you're gonna press Alt, hold, hold Alt, and click the begin bracket. What you do is you're trimming it, and then you can do the Alt in the end bracket, right? And I'll put these things in the description of the video, so you guys can copy them. You guys can look at the video, or you guys can look at the the key that I'll put in at, in the description of the video, so you guys will know. Um, and then you also would have uh, Command Y. To make solids and solids, you know, you say you want a solid background, say you uh, solid to be used for element 3D, optical flares, you know, just all that whole nine. Um, so command Y is or control Y is make solids, and command alt Y or control alt Y is to make adjustment layers and adjustment layers. You can put effects on them, you can put in color corrections on it, you can, uh, you know, just. Yeah, I'll probably go into real depth about, you know, adjustment layers after the next tutorial for, for uh, you know, just to explain to you guys what you can do with adjustment layers and how they can work and stuff like that. And really, adjustment layers is really something that you guys should really know. So if you guys have any questions about, you know, anything with, regarding masking or, you know, whatever, I'll do that. And probably after the, the, the fifth tutorial will be most attractive for you guys. So uh, you guys should stay tuned for that. So I'm RZY and I hope you guys had or I hope you guys learned something.